Yttrium barium copper oxide is by no means the high temperature superconducting cuprate with the highest uh, transition temperature. And if you said that, you would be absolutely correct. For example, there is a family of compounds, thallium barium calcium copper oxide, mercury barium co uh, calcium copper oxide, which exists with transition temperatures up to 132 degrees Kelvin. This is somewhat neglected. Uh, we have not studied it as much as we should because this phase can be meltextured, similar to the IPCO, but it has much better properties than the yttrium barium cuprate, commonly called IPCO, uh, even at the temperature when um, IPCO will not be superconductor anymore, let's say about 92, 93 Kelvin. So it's, it's very, very important that we find the proper heat treatment conditions. I must add that the um, mercury and thallium-based superconductors can be used in thin films and also in space. There is the issue of the uh, safety and uh, we will never be allowed to use mercury-based uh, compounds or thallium-based uh, compounds in applications. And so we have to keep on uh, the research to uh, find new systems with high TCs